What up guys, Justin Allman here with 702 Bartending, owner of Premier Bartending Service LLC, Las Vegas, Nevada. Today we're gonna to talk about working flare. What is it, what's the difference? What's the difference between working flare and exhibition flare or competition flare? Well, really the only difference is, is one bottle will be full and one bottle will be close to empty or near empty. You'll be able to do different tricks um, with each bottle. Like if the bottle that is almost empty, um, you'll be able to actually flip it, rotate it, spin it without spilling water. If you try to do that with a full bottle, you'll end up rooster tailing like this. Woo! Throwing water all over my place. So then when you do it with an empty bottle, or almost empty, that's about as full as you can uh, have the bottle in order to rotate it. Some bottles you could do a little bit more, but you know, just don't risk wasting product, wasting alcohol, this and that. Um, there will be a different series of tricks that you can do with a full bottle that would be easier um, than an empty bottle, one of them being a cut or a stall. So obviously a folder bottle is easier to stall, there's more weight to help keep it down and balanced. You can still do it with a uh, empty bottle, but it just takes a little bit more work and finesse. So, um, Also, pours and cuts. Cuts are easier to do and perform better when there's more liquid in the bottle, especially the bounce cut. That would be the bounce cut, and you can do it with a little bit more of an empty bottle, it's just harder. So with practicing working flare, a bottle that actually has liquid in it, you're not actually gonna rotate the bottle because you don't wanna spill or waste product. But what you do is you keep the bottle more upright using the centrifugal force and momentum to keep the liquid inside the bottle as opposed to trying to get it to rotate like this and spilling all over yourself. Now you can actually use the bottle in rotation with working flare. It's just not actually gonna leave its hand. Like you're gonna do a twirl or, so, or something like a fencer's flourish. So if you came up across your body like this and dropped, you keep the centrifugal force into the, the lower part of the bottle, keeping it from spilling obviously. Um, also, if you were going to be doing like a twirl, like a wrist roll, you know, it's flashy, you're not actually spinning the bottle, but it looks like you're spinning. Um, you could go ahead and do that. Oh, I still have water on me. Um, but yeah, a lot of people actually don't practice with working flare, like full bottles of liquor. Um, I don't know why. Um, it's a good thing to do. It keeps you your hand-eye coordination good for when you're actually behind the bar knowing you know that you have 750 millimeters of liquid in here it's a little heavier keeps you on point from uh spilling or dropping or whatnot you know when you get in the habit of playing around with these empty bottles they feel so light so when you come to a full bottle it goes from being really light to really heavy and you can make a lot of mess ups. But then when you practice with a full bottle and then you go to one of these bottle like this, all of a sudden it just feels so much more maneuverable and lighter, like you're Superman pretty much. So what I suggest doing to make yourself a better flare bartender behind the bar, especially if you're not gonna be doing any type of competitions, like I've never done a competition, never had a desire to. If you're just gonna be working behind the bar and working with full bottles, what I would do is just grab a bottle, that's, well, once you get a good foundation, once you have a solid foundation and you know you can do certain tricks and maneuvers and routines without dropping, I would get a bottle, Hopefully you have bar mats. If you don't have bar mats, practice on grass, practice somewhere where if you drop the bottle, it's not going to break. And I would take the bottle and I would just fill it full to the uh, top and just start practicing your routine and get used to that weight in there and keep it from spilling out. Um, 
also whenever you have a full bottle it is good to have some type of bucket where you can just pour the waste in there so as you keep practicing and the bottle gets lower and lower and that bottle gets empty and you go to the next one you're not got all this water anywhere you just keep it in one big solid bucket you know good to go so one good thing about practice bottles as opposed to real bottles is let's say you're learning a new routine or a new trick where you know you're just going to be fumbling and dropping non-stop it's good to practice with the practice bottles because one they're indestructible you can drop them throw them break them this and that you don't have to worry about a thing but once you get a good solid foundation and you're ready to actually start performing and practicing at home in your garage or wherever and taking it to behind the bar then you can start using real bottles with liquid in them. That way you know if you drop or something like that, it's going to be like, ooh, like a nice little fumble. You know, you're not really worried about actually messing up big time. You know, you're just going to be like, oh, crap, shit, I almost dropped that. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. If you guys got any questions, please leave it down in the comments. Give me a shout out. Let me know what you want to see. Um, of course, like I said, I'm going to make another video on pours and cuts and other videos in the future. Sorry it took me so long to make this video. Life got in the way. Injury got in the way. Bunch of fun stuff got in the way. I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you for watching. Please give me a like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos. Thank you.